Hello everyone. So oh, welcome to my YouTube channel and today we have a very important topic that is ICMP packet flow in a switch or what is a ping message and why the ARP message generated before the ICMP packet forwarding in a switch basically. Okay. So let's discuss about that further. So dear, first of all, you need to know what is a switch. Okay. These are some details about the switch that switch is a layer two device and it forward frame the aging time of mac address and so on right and switch the broadcast for the first time and then then does the unicast okay now let's forward to the to our main topic okay here whenever we will we okay. forwards an icmp packet to check the connectivity between two devices let us assume that this is my source and this is my destination and I just want to forward an ICMP packet to check the connectivity. But what has happened that due to the due to the misinformation or due to lack of information about the destination MAC address, the ICMP signal will not be forwarded before the ARP. The ARP packet will be automatically generated to fetch the MAC address of the destination. Because in layer 2 communication, the packet I uh, cannot be forwarded without the destination MAC address. So, first of all, the ARP packet will be forwarded to get the MAC address. Okay, because if you want to, if you go to the command prompt and put a command ARP minus A, it will show you that there is no entry about the destination MAC address. So, we will use a command that is ping 10.3 0.0.3 that it means we are pinging this pc okay now let's see what will happen first of all the arp will be generated then arp packet will be forwarded first okay so this is how the arp packet will be forwarded to the switch and switch to the broadcast to all of them switch to broadcast in every PC in the local area network. But we already mentioned that ping 10.0.0.3. So the packet will be reached to PC4, but others will be reject the packet because in the in the packet flow, there is already mentioned that the packet is generated for 10.3.0.0.3. Okay. Now Whenever the packet will be reached to the PC4, it will get back with the destination MAC address. Okay, let us assume that the MAC address of PC1 is 0A, MAC address of PC2 is 0B, MAC address of PC3 uh, is 0D, and MAC address of PC4 is 0C. Okay, so now the ARP packet will be get back with the destination MAC address along with the all the details of destination. Okay. Now, after getting the MAC address, the ICMP packet will be forwarded now to the destination. And in response of that, the acknowledgement will be received like this. Okay. After that, it will get the acknowledgement. But the ICMP packet are four different packets of, of 32 bytes of data. They are used to check the connectivity between two devices. And the command used to forward an ICMP packet is what? Ping and the destination IP address. On the behalf of that, we can check the connectivity. Okay. Now, let's do the practical for this ICMP packet. Okay. Let us assume we have four different PCs. The MAC address of these PCs are whatever be that. Let's copy the MAC address. So go to interface. So this is the MAC address of the first. Okay. Now let us provide some IP addresses. Let us assume the IP address is 192.168.10.1. Okay. 192.168.10.2, 192.168.10.3, okay. 192.168.10.3 and 192.168.10.4. These are the four IP addresses. Let's provide these IP addresses to these PC. Okay. 
I will go to PC and put the IP addresses. This is 10.2. This one is 192.168.10.3. And the last one is 192.168.10.4. Okay. So we have just provided the IP addresses. Let's copy the MAC address. So the MAC address of the PC2 is what? Uh, it will be here. It is 000P and so on. Okay. Now let's go to PC number three. The MAC address of this PC is what? Go to config mode, Ethernet 0001 and so on. Okay. This is the MAC address of this PC. And the MAC address of last PC is what? Let me check. Okay. So this is the MAC address of last PC. Okay, now what has happened that if I want to forward any packet from this one PC0 to PC2, it will not be forwarded. It will not be forwarded directly because it is a layer 2 communication and switch is a layer 2 device. To do the communication on layer 2, we need the MAC address without MAC address, we cannot forward the forward any single packet. Okay. Now what is happen? I will forward. Let me try to forward a ICMP packet. Let us assume this is our source and this is our destination. So whenever I will put a ping packet, uh, when, whenever I, I will input the ping command and uh, let me open the simulation also here we will also track the packets okay so whenever i will go to the pc this pc okay go to command prompt and put a command ping 192.168.10.3 okay whenever i will press enter what will happen you can see that two packets has been generated which one ARP, this one is ARP packet. You can see here ARP. It is generated before the ICMP packet because ICMP packet need the destination MAC address, but destination MAC address is not available with the source information. Now, the details we have are source IP address, source IP address is 192.168. Dot 10.1 destination IP address will be 192.168.10.3. Now, source MAC address will be 0030 and so on. Okay, but this PC, this particular PC, don't know what is the destination MAC address. Destination MAC address is unknown. What? Unknown. So the packet will be forwarded. The ARP packet is used to find the destination MAC address because there is no entry of destination MAC address in this PC. Okay. Now the ARP packet will be forwarded. Let me check what are the details the ARP packet has. Okay. The ARP packet has source MAC address that is 0030 and so on. So we got the source MAC address. Okay. We got the source IP address that is 10.1. We got the destination IP address that is matches to 10.3, but we don't have the target MAC address. So the ARP packet is used to find the target MAC address. Now it is a property of Swiss to broadcast the packet every time. So the packet will be broadcasted, but everyone will reject the packet because we already have mentioned that, that this packet has been generated for. 10.3 okay now the only destination will accept the packet whenever i will check the details inside so now the arp packet got the destination mac address and source mac address both of the source and destination mac address are available now once the packet will be reached to the destination it will automatically fetch the mac address of the destination now we have all the four details source ip destination ip source mac and destination mac address now 
this packet will be sent back to the source again like this now the communication is successful now we have the destination mac address destination mac address is what 0001 and so on okay now all the details are available so the icmp packet can be easily forwarded now it will generate an icmp packet because arp or arp address resolution protocol already done its work okay now the arp packet will be forwarded and it has both the details there let me check again it has source ip address and destination ip address and mac address already available there okay so this is how the communication work on layer 2 okay now the icmp packet will be forwarded and icmp has generate four different packets of 32 bytes basically now second icmp packet will be generated and it will get back with the acknowledgement now the third will be forwarded then the fourth packet will be forwarded that is means every time it is doing four time confirmation about the source and destination that is means an icmp uh, packet or ping command is used to confirm the the destination or the connectivity four times so this is the fourth icmp packet has been forwarded and it will be get back with the proper reply from the destination so this is how you can also check the reply from icmp packet that four packet has been forwarded one two three four the size was 32 bytes and it 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 takes eight eight milliseconds for the first one and four 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 milliseconds for others okay so all the four packets has been received successfully packet sent equal to four and received also four so this is how you can clarify or you can check the communication between the two different devices okay so dear all if any if you you want to check the entries in the pc that what are the entries do we have in our mac address table so just go to the pc and put a command arp minus a again you can see now we got the details of mac address and destination ip address in our arp table okay now you if you again ping the destination you don't uh, it will not generate the arp now let's try to do this okay ping you can see it is directly getting the response okay let me again open the simulation and will repeat the same ping 10.3 so you can see there is no arp entries because already the r packet has received the destination mac address details so everyone if you have any query please let me know i can reply in the comment have you thank you so much have a nice day